Hello and welcome to the show. We are a long way uh, down the back of the grid. We've got some Forza Motorsport racing for you today using A-Class cars fitted with 12-cylinder engines. I am driving a BMW, the 850 CSI, a BMW I really, really like. Normally quite useless in Forza games, but seems to be half decent in this one. Uh, just within A-Class in general, but especially bro, hey, potentially within these regulations. I don't know. Oh, it's four wide and... Uh, <laughs> Magello's getting busy. Who would have thought it? Uh, we're going to just try and sneak our way. Oh, there is something having a spin. And we are stuck in a really awkward place. Uh, we've got ourselves around all of that. I think Ninetales in the Red Aston has done a little bit of a better job than than we did down there. If we can kind of follow Nine Tails, I would be relatively happy with that. Uh, <laughs> the downside of the BMW uh, is it's quite heavy, although trying to get a 12-cylinder engine into A-Class is a little bit difficult. Uh, there are a few sensible options, which the BMW is one of them, that start with a 12-cylinder. If you're going to try and stick an engine swapped 12-cylinder in, it's a very powerful uh, V12, which generally makes the car absolutely ridiculous. So we're not going to see too many of them. Uh, oh, Aaron's uh, has been a few cars with issues. The auto union, unfortunately, uh, ran into a little bit of a problem. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> this is a relatively heavy car. A lot, of the, a lot of the 12 cylinders are a little bit mad. Uh, the plus point for BMW quite fast in a straight line, even though this has been, i say, a little bit more geared towards the handling side of things. Um, but yeah, it is pretty rapid in a straight line. We've got some 550 horsepower. Oh god, carefully does it. Uh, it's not bad handling. However, it did take some fiddling about with the set, a lot of fiddling about with the setup, to try and get it to turn in because it doesn't want to. It's very uncooperative. Even with, I mean, the setup that I usually run, max front aero, minimum rear aero, still not enough to get the front end to really do what it wants to do. Now, the McLaren, funnily enough, is going to be faster than me down a straight. Uh, Crumpled is going to bugger off. That's not a big surprise. I'm okay with that. McLaren won't be on race tyres. So I do have slicks on the Beamer. That's the other difficult thing, is you're going to want slick tyres on your car. It, in Forza, pretty much every... Every race, every class, you want slicks. They're just so much better. Uh, whoa, Grumples is going to be braving it. McLaren... Maybe the very top of A class to start with might be a slight PI drop ballast or something uh, to get that down. We've had a little bit of a wobble uh, going through that section. Uh, we've caught up to a Testarossa. That was the other thought of a car to build. I mean, <laughs> my main thought was 850 CSI because it's a fun... I always like to use this car and it's great to be able to, to use it and have it be actually half decent in this game. Testarossa is probably a sen another sensible sort of shot sensible car to go for big rear tires uh, we are i mean we're both a little bit stacked up behind this mclaren can i be sneaky and go underneath or can i follow absol through we're going to give him a little helping hand don't know if grumples knows we're there <laughs> uh i wasn't sure if the mclaren knew we were quite there so i didn't want to go full crazy to the inside uh, we might be able to get grumples on the exit this don't let this be the second versus the community in a row I get stuck behind Grumples. I got a bloody quicker car in a straight line this time and it's still not enough. Uh, we might be able to just send it to the inside down here uh, a little bit. I mean, the thing is, even if we get past here, which I think we can, because I think we can carry enough mid-corner speed, we know we're going to be vulnerable at the end of the straight. Potentially. I've got to try and make as much of a gap as I can. If we can get a good tow off the Testarossa, that would be helpful. Looks like there's a big fun group of cars up ahead that I would like to go and be a part of. Oh, we've got a lot of understeer into the final corner. That might be a problem for me. <laughs> We're going to definitely be under threat from that McLaren by the time we get to turn one. And there it goes. To be expected, really. It is, we're probably the fast we'll, we'll be the fastest car top speed-wise in here. Uh, whether it be the fastest sort of usable speed... Uh, Absol goes defensive. I try to go for a silly line around the outside that cannot quite work. Little too late under braking there uh, from me. We have found a Gliska. Hello. Uh, now we've got to deal with the Testarossa and McLaren having a fight. Uh, what can I do about these two? I don't really know. 
This is going to have a look around, but it's difficult to pass down this bit. Oh, Grumple's got the rear on the curb. Now we're going to go three wide. This oh, is going to going to choose wisely, I think, to get out of that one at the moment. Now we should have the grip to go around the outside. The problem is I'm going to have to send my car in on really stupid lines, and I just don't know what this car can do. I don't know where this car is going to be able to hold on to the circuit taking some of these lines. So it's a lot of exploring going on from me. My 850 is desperately wanting to go sideways through a lot of these corners. Uh, right. If we can have a lap of a little bit more peace, that would be wonderful. We're not going to get it, of course, but it would be nice. Uh, I'm just not getting stopped in time. We're being too late on the brakes now. Uh, this is going to look for the cutback on the exit, which is not the worst idea in the world. Uh, here is Hordes with a Kuntash that had a trip across the grass. It's now three wide down here. Oh, we are trying to keep our car. He would like it to be a little bit more planted. Glisk is going to wander wide on the exit, but he's going to be on the inside through here. Now, get the car out of the chicane nicely, which we do. Will we be close enough to have a look to the inside into the final corner? Not quite. Horse is going to send it there. Can sort of hold on at the moment with the Kuntash. <laughs> Who has got more straight line speed? between all of us. Now, I do have Aero on, Gliska does not, but of course we are all in the slipstream of Gliska's car, which is going to help we'll probably negate all of the Aero uh, downsides. Hordes has hit an Aero limit at about 160. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit earlier on the brakes, perhaps. Uh, uh, not quite. Not quite got it sorted through there. Shadow is leading the way. Uh, I think Shadow is driving a Kuntash uh, as we head through these next couple of corners. Oh. I just don't have... I've got too much oversteer in this. Uh, I just don't have the car where I want it to be. So, to get... I've got the front... Well, I say I've got the front end grip. I struggled to get it to have the front end grip, the turn in that I wanted to. The compromise is, is it's now got the oversteer, and I just don't deal with that so well. We've had a good run through this section. Hordes has also had a very good run through this section. But where on earth am I going to go? Down here, there is not a huge amount of space. This is not a place to be going side by side. Definitely not a place to be thinking about three wide here. Uh, that's just going to end in a very big accident. Hawes is looking for a way past Gliska. Might have got it. We have now got ourselves alongside for this next part. Ninetales is going to shove their nose in the middle. And now we're going to go three wide into a different corner. Ninetales is going to run out of room for that three wide. We are desperately trying to get stopped on the inside. We gave Gliska a little bit of a bump through there. Uh, we're trying to... Wait... I was trying to keep my car on the second. I was going to let Gliska back past again. Uh, now we've got nine tails on the inside. This is going to end in disaster. I can tell you that much uh, right now. We are going to end up... Oh, God, come on, turn, for God's sake. It really just doesn't want to turn through these corners. Longbow's going to be on a really tight line through there. Hort has had issues again with the Kuntash. That Kuntash looks very fast, but very dangerous. Uh, is about the, the way to sum that car up. Uh, it is incredibly fast when it wants to be, and then immediately visits a gravel trap when given half a chance, which has got a very big group of cars. That The fight with all of us, well, Grumple's kind of backed us up a little bit into it. Here comes that auto union. I forgot about the auto union. That thing's going to be a monster down the straights. I've got no one to slipstream off of. Uh, there goes the auto union. Uh, I'm going to guess about here for the stopping point for turn one. We can turn underneath the auto union. If I could put enough power down, that would be great. Let's go, we'll be up the inside through here. Now, if we can get around the outside of the auto union, we'll be on the inside for the next corner, uh, which we may hold on to. Our car may want to go sideways, though. The auto union's got the drive on the exit. Uh, Hordes is back in the fight, having a look. We are trying to <laughs> get through here. Uh, there's going to be... I'm just getting... Now, the problem I've got is we're getting boxed in with an auto union uh, that... I don't know what I can do about it really through here. I'm not going to be able to pass it easily down this section, especially not when I've got a car all over the back. It's one thing to battle with just, you know, just the car ahead of you. I've turned it a little bit too soon. So you've got the mid-corner speed. I might be able to chuck it up the inside down here if the auto union is aware that we are there, which it kind of was a little bit late. Uh, we're going to head up towards this next corner. Uh, it's all getting a bit busy. So I've, got, I've got a lot of mid-corner speed, what I can't use when there's a car in front of me. And I'm trying to get to the outside of an auto union, and it's got tagged. Uh, 
The problem you get when you are so slow mid-corner and you've got four cars behind you is, well, you might end up getting a slight bump. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't from me, that one, but uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate indeed for what is I mean, a mighty difficult car to drive. Um, but uh, uh, we're not, we're not, I mean, we're not going to, oh, maybe we can get, I mean, we, we've got that mid-corner turn in. Now it is a three-way drag race to the line. No one's got any slipstream. We're going to do some side drafting off of each other. Uh, and I think Horse is going to get it. Maybe, no, gliska has got it. <laughs> it's all side drafting to the line. <laughs> I couldn't quite do it. Couldn't quite do it. Shadow took victory. Ollie would be second. Uh, Danizun would be third. Uh, it's two Lamborghinis, followed by three Ferraris. We, I mean, what lap time we could have done, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I, I have no idea, because <laughs> we, we never got a clean run. I don't think we were in, I don't think we were going to go as quick as Shadow or Ollie. I think that was irrelevant. Uh, maybe, maybe somewhere in the 201s we might have been able to do. Um, I don't know. It was good fun. It was a crazy, silly battle uh, from the back of the grid, considering the mess at the start. It could have gone worse. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh, bloody hell. We just about survived it in all of that. For our second race, we are also quite a long way back on the grid. Uh, it is raining here at Kyalami. We will see what the BMW does here. I am slightly concerned about the handling. It's the kind of hit or miss nature of the handling of this car that is, it's got a lot of understeer, it's also got a lot of oversteer, and every so often you get it right and it's very quick in a corner, and it's just trying to stay on that very right point that's going to be difficult. Uh, I think it's, I think it, it's a car that can be very quick. I've just got to try and, yeah, really, really get it right. Uh, but we shall see. We've actually had a good turn one. We've snuck our way past a bunch of cars, uh, including the EB110 that I was very concerned about. For God's sake, I keep finding hordes everywhere. I don't, <laughs> don't want to find hordes. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, I am not going to go around the outside of everybody here, I don't think. We might be able to cut to the inside for the exit, but then we are the wrong side of Longbow's Ferrari for this next corner, and we've all kind of got stacked up. We're going to try and duck underneath some cars here. Uh, whether we've got the acceleration to do that, I don't know. I'm going to have to lift because it's not quite going to be. It's not going to be room for three wide down here. We're hopefully going to get past the Kuntash uh, down this section, which we do. Longbow's on the power in that Ferrari. And the Ferrari will be very quick accelerating, I would imagine. It's probably half the weight of my BMW here. Uh, Horse is going to send that one to the inside. Oh, didn't quite get as much space as I meant to there, but we are fine. Oi, <laughs> back ends. Doing its thing through there. The Kuntash is going to out-accelerate us. We're not going to fight that one too hard. My hope is is that Kuntash is going to understeer through this corner. We are going to fight back. Longbow's had an off and a bit of an adventure down there. Ollie is leading the way with a big Bentley uh, as we are all fighting one another. We're still on the outside of hordes. Can I get my car off the curb in time? We can. Got a little bit nasty over there. Oh, I'm out of shape through the penultimate corner. That's going to be a dangerous. We put ourselves in an awkward spot here. Nine Tails is going to send it. Uh, and I, there's just not quite enough space for everybody around here at the moment. It's manic again for around the top ten positions. Uh, okay, here we go. Can we out-accelerate Nine Tails is Aston Martin? We can. Hordes outruns us, though. Uh, we know we top out higher than Hordes, but we're not going to have the straight here to actually utilise that. Don't know really where I need to break. About here will kind of work. I want to turn in sooner, but I can't because there's a Lamborghini in the way. Uh, we are going to hopefully keep the pass on Nine Tails. Lose out to Hordes, but keep the pass on Nine Tails. Uh, we might be able to get up the inside of Coffee's BMW as we head through this next section. There's a little bit of leaning between the two 850s. Who is faster in a straight line between us? We've got a bunch of Aston Martins stacking up behind us. Hortz's Kuntash is fast, but difficult to drive, I think, is the best way to sum it up. Oh, and then, well, basically got in a tag. I, didn't, I, was busy, oh, I was busy trying to get turned in for the corner. Didn't even see what happened to upset the Kuntash. Something did. Now we're on the inside of a three wide. Oh, and I'm going to end up in the side of a B. I'm trying to outbreak Liam, which we, kind of, which we would have been fine for. <laughs> uh, BMWs helping BMWs has gone on a little bit there. Uh, it is getting very crowded through here. Oh, come on, 850. God, this thing, oh, 
Danger Man and the little Ferrari got in trouble. Don't quite know who was driving that little. I think it was Speed Beast, but I'm not completely sure on that one. To the inside at the hairpin we go. Uh, try and get on the power. Both the cars slide about a little bit through there. We have got the power down. I think Liam's DBS is better than ours over the course of a lap. Uh, oh no, BMW behave. Uh, <laughs> I am not stopping down here. Yeah, we were all out of shape. Come on. Keep it under control. Ollie is enjoying an absolutely massive lead in this one. Having got out of the chaos, has just driven away from the rest of us. Uh, it's nice. I mean, it's, you know, I say it's, it's nice when it happens. We have been in the thick of the action here. Uh, there has been a lot of paint traded. Uh, some have gone our way. <laughs> Look at the mess of the pack behind there. <laughs> it's absolute chaos. We are across the line. We are faster than Liam in a straight line, which is nice. We know that Aston's very good in the corners. Liam has got it very well sorted around here. Uh, we will get slowed now for turn one. Liam's gone quite deep, although you can make that work sometimes in the first corner. Uh, you can kind of cut back for straightening the exit, basically. Now, I don't know who is in second, but if that Aston Martin backs us all up, I mean, it could help me catch up to the podium battle. I just want to do it and get past before Liam and co come and join in the fun. Because uh, if it starts end up being a six, seven car battle, I think that's when I really struggle with the Beamer. Like, on my own, it's very quick. But when I've got to deal with so many cars around me, it becomes so difficult to drive consistently that, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Is it Chris maybe in second? I think Chris was driving an Aston. Uh, is I don't know. I don't know. Third gear is maybe not it. This middle section of the lap, we struggle on with the 850. We, uh, I mean, we are up to this group as well as this because they just started fighting each other. Oh, try to boot the Ferrari forward. It doesn't quite work like it does in GTA. <laughs> We didn't quite boop it straight enough uh, through there. It was really struggling for grip in that section. Now I'm surrounded by Astins. If we get off this corner well, way kind of well. Yeah, the, the I think the Testarossa is just struggling a little bit for pace. It might be a bit like me, struggling for pace in this middle sector of the lap. Uh, uh, Stevie's having a moment. Ninetales is going to have to go to the outside of me around here. We, are, we have got it stopped this time around. We have been clever about it. Uh, all right, come on, BMW. You can fight with the Aston Martins. You get a fat, we get a fat corner there quite well, but sometimes we get a fat corner quite well. It's quite scary. Stevie's on the grass. It'll put us to the outside at the final turn. Now, what car are we faster than the Aston? I think we should be faster than Stevie down the straight. I, I imagine Stevie's car is very similar to Liam. It might get us a fourth place here. Uh, we're quicker than Nine Tails in a straight line. I know Longbow's actually come to join the party with that Ferrari that took a little adventure earlier on. Uh, <laughs> It's all getting, it's all getting very busy. It is Chris currently trying to hold on to that second place. Under fire from Liam, can we get the power down in the Beamer? We can just, just about to fend off Stevie through there. Uh, Liam is having to go the long, long way round up here. Oh, Stevie, I don't want to put you off, but I'm struggling with my own grip issues through there. Longbow's Ferrari has come to join the party. And I don't know if I've got an answer for Longbow's Ferrari. That thing is monstrously quick around here. Uh, it's having a look. I'm trying to give it space while also being aware that my back end will snap and let go at any moment. Stevie's on the curb and in a little bit of trouble. We might be able to profit from this as we look to try to get to the inside of Stevie's Aston. And we do make the pass stick. That's us back up into fourth place. Longbow's there having a little bit of a look. Not going to find a way past through that section. Chris is still desperately trying to hold on against Liam. He's doing a great job up there. That group's all fought each other and dropped back. Uh, <laughs> Liam is now to the inside of Chris. Chris will go for a cutback, but I think Liam's got that move done. I messed up my braking completely through there. I can be much braver than that, and I should have been. Now we've got a little bit of space to, our, to ourselves. We really need to be braver. Uh, than that one. Now, some of the cars that have had slightly iffy starts to this are now catching back up, including Longbow's Ferrari. Whoa! And Hordes' Lambo. That corner is very dicey for me. <laughs> Sorry, Longbow. <laughs> that would have been a hell of a scare. I am actually quite surprised I managed to get that back under control. Yeah, that... The time loss through that corner alone is a little bit alarming. Well, if we get it right, we're fine. It's just kind of on edge. Uh, come on, BMW. I'd love to be able to get on a podium. I just don't think for two more laps I can hold off the horde of cars. I think 
the Kuntash and the uh, 250 are just going to be too fast. My one trump card against the Astins was the straight line speed, which is great and everything. But I now don't have it against the Ferrari or against the Lamborghini. Oh, did not realise they were too wide. Sorry, Longbow. I turned in not realising there was a car on the inside of Longbow as well. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. God, I just don't have... I don't quite have the speed and I don't quite have the trust in this car at the moment. Uh, but we will see what we can do here. I mean, we've seen Hawes' Lambo be dicey. So there's always a chance. There's always a chance of some kind of craziness going on. Liam's Liam's okay in second if they don't make a mistake at this point, I think. Ollie's just had a very boring race up at the front with that Bentley. Longbow is to the inside. Uh, oh, I was not even really trying to get to the inside of Hawes. I was just carrying a lot of mid-quarter speed there as they battle each other for position. Ninetales is going to have a little bit of a look, but you're not. nothing's really going to be giving through here. Oh, come on, BMW, get on the power. Up the hill, and we will once again pull away from the DBS. Uh, I'm not really going for a big dive under brakes. Ninetales is going to look uh, the long way around. Sorry, it's not a DBS. Ninetales is in the uh, Vanquish. Ninetales will actually get that one worked. We try to get on the power soon enough. I was busy trying, I say, busy dealing with hordes. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get alongside, and I'm not going to have the grip even if I do get alongside Ninetales through here. Uh, so, yeah, the, the Vanquish has got. Decent grip, but it doesn't have the straight line speed of the 850. Oh, car sent it to the inside through there. Not ideal when we were already side by side. I might be able to outrun nine tails down here, but we give each other space. It's side by side through there. That is not a corner. You traditionally want to go too wide through in that, but we made it work. We gave each other space. We were respectful, and it has... We've all popped out the other side in one piece. Can we catch Chris on the final lap? It's really going to depend what the Aston Martins do. If, if they tangle with us and they slow us down too much, we won't catch Chris. But there's a little chance that this BMW could score a good... I mean, it's had a, we've had a hell of a race. I don't think we quite have the pace. That being said, we've had a lot of fun. And I feel like I've done everything I can with this car. A couple of little errors from me, but nothing major on BMW. There we go. Stevie versus Ninetales. Yeah, let them two let them two fight each other as much as possible. That would be great. Can we? So I'm not really looking to get past Chris here. I was hoping. Uh, Chris kind of wandered across. I was hoping. Basically, my goal there is to shove the nose in such a way that would make it awkward. Make the Vanquish have to think twice. Uh, we've bounced our car around. Something crazy. But we've got to the inside of Chris here. We know we've got great acceleration. Can I uh, not quite make it stick there? But we're going to be to the outside through here now. Oh, no, I've got a twitch mid-corner. Oh, Ninetales has got back past again. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, we just got stuck trying to find a way past Chris. We'll let them run in deep through here. Try and get the 850 on the power. Ninetales will struggle to hold on to this, especially if we slide our way through there. Uh, we got ahead just... There was about a BMW-sized gap, and we made the most of every bit of that BMW-sized gap. Ninetales will want to have a look to the inside here. Chris will want to defend very heavily down to this corner. I mean, I will defend as well with the BMW. Could not get it to turn off of that corner whatsoever. I mean, there's going to be defence going on in the final corner. Chris has kind of got it wrong, and it's going to ch check us all up around here. It's side by side into the final turn. I'm trying to chase the rear end across the circuit. Chris got tagged by Ninetales. The Astins run out of space and it's gone wrong. <laughs> we crossed the line in fifth. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> what a ridiculous race. Oh, absolute chaos on that one. Um... Oh, yeah. I, Chris is very unlucky on that. It started on that penultimate corner. Chris ran wide, put a wheel on the grass, and it all went sort of twitchy. And, yeah, there was just so many cars fighting to the line. I don't think Chris would have known there was a a nine tails on the outside of me. I don't think you'd know that that car was was there when, when, when that was all going on. Ugh. You know what? I'm happy with that. Um, I am... Um, I'm happy with that. It was a great race. I don't, the BMW did not quite have the pace, that's for sure, but we made the very most of it. 
Ollie won by a mile. <laughs> well, didn't get the fastest lap. That will go to Longbow, but stayed out of trouble for so long. Uh, that was, yeah, able, able to stay away. For our final race, we have come to the Grand Oak Raceway. We have got a bit better spot on the grid this time around for the BMW. I've got two McLarens in front of us. I feel like I know what this race is heading <laughs> towards, but we shall see. We shall see what the BMW can do here. Oh, that might be asking a lot of it around the outside. I was trying to get, well, I got, did get clear of the Aston Martin, but we just ran a little bit too wide in all of that. Uh, oh. We are all getting a little bit stacked up through here. Uh, Gliska held up behind Rusky's McLaren. The problem with the McLarens is they don't have a huge amount of grip in the corners. They're so quick down the straights when they do get going. Oh, there is an F50 on the inside uh, through all of this. All right, we have got out of here nicely, in, well, well enough uh, as we blast down the back straight. This next corner is always an interesting one uh, to get the cars stopped and turned through. Oh. Oh, God. I'm trying to give cars the outside space, cars on the inside. Well, you know, what is a reasonable amount of space. There goes the McLaren straight line speed. This circuit, I wouldn't have said this circuit was a particularly straight line speedy circuit. Oh, God. Don't quite know where to break down there. Apologies, Rusky. Not quite where we were, not quite what we were going for. It's, uh, yeah, it's just unsure of how much I can get away with. Because the F50, very quick car. The thing it struggles with is it starts very high in the PI, and I don't think it can get slick tyres. So that is always going to be a little bit of a downside. Here comes the McLaren with all of its straight line speed, but it's going to run into a wall of cars at turn number one, and it will not. The McLaren is another one. Will not have race tyres. Will not be able to make that sort of manoeuvre stick. So Steve is leading the way. I think they were driving a 250LM, but I'm not sure. It looked like some sort of classic car. I can't really see. Long-range car spotting is difficult to do when you are in the midst of a battle uh, going on. Mo most of my battle is with keeping my car facing the way it's supposed to. Uh, that is always the challenge, uh, especially with this BMW that very much wants to... Uh, it wants to do strange things. I can't think of a better way to... I can't think of a better way to... It, it moves about a lot. Oh. And in that case, we just did not want to get going. I might have actually tapped the brakes by accident while I was trying to... Uh, might be, I don't know if I was holding the brakes slightly while I was trying to get out of the gravel trap. Well, not quite where I was aiming that one for, but there we go. Uh, oh, I think I know what's happened. Dagon's exploring my office. I think she stood on my keyboard. <laughs> I think I have a keyboard connected. To, well, I have got a keyboard connected. She's now currently hunting the audacity uh, waveform bar uh, so that's uh, that's that's fun uh, god it we are going to be a little bit crossed up all the way through there uh, there's 250 lm in trouble here comes a bugatti to the outside into turn one we head trying to m mostly trying to defend from the bugatti at this point and the eb110 is another interesting uh, shout as a vehicle goes starts off in a class uh, quite high, I think it starts very, very high in A-Class, so you do not have much room for upgrades, but of course, you do get a relatively, well, a very fast car to start with, one of the few all-wheel drives. Uh, well, not that, that's, not that that's a particularly big thing in this. Probably not this circuit necessarily for an EB110 uh, around here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we are going to try and recover. It's this corner here where we lose so much. Really struggles through there. Really hates that corner. Um, yeah, this bit is weird. It's. I feel like there's a very good car at the 850 if you were a better tuner than I was and could fix some of just the weird handling characteristics. Um, because uh, I don't know whether the Testarossa got that wrong or whether it got pushed, but uh, it definitely got it wrong big time through there. Uh, yeah, one corner, like, every so often through some of the corners, BMW feels really, really fast, and then the next corner feels really slow and inconsistent. Uh, it's just a really fine balancing act to try and get right, and we've had a bit of an iffy lap, unfortunately, here. So any chance of... Uh, so any chance of a decent finish position has kind of gone a little bit out of the window. Uh, we found ourselves a smidge of no man's land. That's probably good for a little bit of, you know, try and get some lap times. We'll see if we can catch up to this group ahead. So we can sneak ourselves into the top ten. I'm a, I'd be okay with that. That would be very nice. Uh, we know the McLaren is... We know the McLaren's going to be even more of a handful 
through these corners than I am. We know certainly the Auto Union is going to be a right handful in that one. But will be an absolute monster down the So you're through the first section, first part of this lap. BMW feels great. Down here, oh, it feels very... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't leave a better way. That quarter in particular, even that time there where we got the braking better, it felt better, but still not right. I'm wondering if maybe we're bottoming out, whether that's something that's... There's something definitely not quite right with my car through that section, and the only thing that I can really think big difference on that corner compared to some of the others is it's you've got quite a elevation change going on uh, so maybe it's clipping the front splitter on the floor or something weird uh, I mean, we've had a better lap around there there's fights going on in front of us uh, now if they slow each other down that may well allow me to catch up it's quite neat through turn one uh, this time out oh. you see, I gain I can gain this time around less so We've overdriven it a little bit. Steve is still clinging on to the top spot. We don't know quite what's happening up there anymore, sadly. Uh, we're going to have the back end want to let go a little bit on the climb through there. Bugatti's fighting something else uh, further back. Now, Rusky and Atesta Rossa are going to have a fight. They are starting to catch that auto union uh, that... He's probably having a very difficult time around this circuit. <laughs> it's surprisingly competitive considering what it is in this particular field. Uh, you know, it's got it's got a monumental amount of straight line speed, which I guess at this circuit you can use sometimes. Uh, I don't know who we're all catching. I think we're actually all catching up to Grumples. I think it's a McLaren F1 train going on here. The F1s are fun, but they just are not quite working around here. I think it's about the best way to sum them up. Uh, quick, but not quite quick enough. Oh, Rusky's going to smack the wall quite hard through the final corner. We almost did a similar thing uh, through that one. All right, get slowed for turn number one, which we can do. Is Aston Martin's part. The Grumples has just fallen. And Grumples is the goal, really, is that <laughs> top ten. Unfortunately, we should have and could have done much better in this race, but a little error and a little helpful assist from a cat has uh, made life a little bit difficult for us um, and we are we are quickly running out of laps now I've got to be aware Rusky will want to try and get this back past I don't know whether they're going to they are going to go for it here uh, but on that very tight line you struggle to get a good exit and I don't want to lose too much time defending unnecessarily. We're going to have to defend to a point, but we don't want to lose too much time having to go crazy on the defensive uh, around here. Uh, let's get slowed down into here. Now, if Grumples and Speed Slap can slow each other down, that is the goal and bring us all together and I can luck my way through this all. Problem is, McLarens are faster at a straight line than I am. We are better in the corners, but we are sketchy in the corners is basically the nicest way to put this car. Uh, Dodge has probably got the best handling car in the form of that Ferrari. Uh, now, I'm going to let Rusky go in deep. We are going to cut underneath and hopefully do a very similar pass, and we do. That will put us, keep us ahead of Rusky in this fight. No, come on, BMW. Turn in. Grumples is... Well, the fight up ahead is happening as we wanted it to. Grumples is battling away with Speed Slap. Dodge is caught. We are catching if we don't make any more silly mistakes through that first section. We can't, can't afford any more errors like that. McLaren is, again, close, but I don't think he's going to be able to do anything down here. They are side by side up ahead through a very tricky corner has gone the way of the auto union so even if I catch though where am I going to pass we can outrun the Ferrari in a straight line that is an important that is a useful thing that we can do even if the McLarens are going to outrun us so that would be a way to get past that car uh, we've caught up to Grandpa's Grandpa's McLaren is a real handful in these corners if the auto unions got past it oh, we were trying to be a little bit sneaky on the uh on the exit there and it's not worked that is a frustrating thing there was not quite the space for us to put our car where we wanted it to 
Uh, Ruski is not going to be close enough, surely, to make that one work. You have to die from a long way back. And we know that car doesn't have the grip to make that happen. The Auto Union is now having to defend from a McLaren F1, followed by a Testarossa, followed by the 850 CSI here. Uh, at some point, there's going to be an EB110, I'm sure, catch the group. I think Impega may run out of laps to do it. But, uh, yeah, Speed Slap might have this top 10 if nothing else goes wrong. I should have shifted up a little bit sooner, I think, in all of this. Uh, <laughs> as we head for the final time into what is normally my favourite corner on the circuit, but is definitely BMW's least favourite corner. Yeah, I think it's when it goes through the apex, it's quite a bump. And I think it just bottoms out. I think the, the nose just bottoms out through there, which gives us a real problem. Uh, we well, It does it a little bit there as well. So something not quite right in my setup with this car. Uh, it just doesn't like that section. Uh, can we do anything through here? I mean, it's a very similar manoeuvre we're trying this time around, though we get it a little bit better. We're going to send it. It's for the glory around the outside of the final corner. Yeah, and I guess we should have expected that one. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we send it around the outside. Well, we hope that the car gives us space, and the car decided to not give us space. So that's sort of that's sort of it, really. Oh, it's Steve and Stevie the two <laughs> up the front. Uh, we had an all right amount of pace around that circuit. It wasn't great, although it wasn't too bad. I mean, admittedly, the laps were shorter. It's probably the closest we've been in terms of pace. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, it was just it was just one of those races. I feel like we could have probably been we could have probably been around the fight for fourth we should have probably been around the fight for fourth, fifth round with the F fifties and all that. Um, but there we go. Yeah, not a great final race. The eight fifty, an interesting car, very difficult to drive. Um, not quite working for me. Weirdly, worked was was nicest to drive a, a wet Kyle Army, which is not what I really expected. Uh, but there we go. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. If you would like to sign up to take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. Find the Versa Community sign up section, and you can register to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.